Hey, hello, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about Aries rework, what they should do to fix her kit, and one of the problems I think current Ari has. So let's start. So always when you talk about Aries state, you get the comments like Ari has 52% win rate. She's fine or she's good. And yeah, that's correct. She has that win rate almost every patch. But you gotta consider why Ari has that win rate. And that's basically because her kit is around not dying. And you are virtually going to win more games by not dying than by carrying them. Because you are going to have 50% win rate if you don't influence the, the game. But with Ari, you are going to influence that stat by not dying. So you are going to have a lane that is not going to fit on your team. So that's really huge and solo queue. Because someone is going to carry for you more than half of the games. So yeah, that's why Ari has a high win rate despite being bad or her numbers being bad. Really easy. Like she has instant hard CC and like a lot of champs on mid. She also has sustain in build on her kit. She has average or moderate medium ranges. She has mobility on W and free dashes. We also have true damage, which is a lot of value that other champs don't have. So that is all basically making Ari overpower, even if her numbers are really low. And that is the reason her win rate is high, because she has a lot of things on her kit, but she doesn't sell or do good any of them. So that's the problem. And as I always stated, Ari having a high win rate is not an indicator that the champ is good. I guess it's much better to look the peak rate through the years to see that the champ has been declining in popularity. That's really huge on a popular champ, Asari, because even if when she was bad or out of meta back then, she always hovered something like 6% peak rate, Will now it even decreased to almost 3% peak rate. That's insanely low for a champ like Ari. And that's basically what Riot stated. Why are they going to rework Ari? As they said, she has been failing out of flavor lately. But not lately, uh, through the years, her peak rate has been decreasing a lot. Before we talk about what I would do to fix Ari's kit problems, I want to talk about recent Ari's patch history. First, we have the Season 5 rework, where they did the worst change they could ever do to Ari, which was basically adding move speed into her Q. They also buffed the base damage on W, buffed the base damage on Charm and AP ratio, and remove the amplification on charm. They also did some quality of life changes to ult and W, which in general were good, these changes, because it made them feel better and it improved some things like W targeting, where it was really messed up on season 4, to be honest. So that was good, except the move speed on Q, obviously. It was insanely OP as it showed through the years, and Aris win rate spiked at around 58% win rate, which was insanely high back then. This led to Riot to nerf Ari, obviously because it was extremely OP, as it was obvious. But instead of removing the, or at least nerfing the most speed, what they did was nerfing Q, mana cost, nerfing W damage, its range, the old range too, they also nerfed the passive if I remember correctly. So yeah, they basically had to nerf all her kit to maintain that broken move speed. They also removed uh, through the years the charm stopping dashes. It came back some years later, so yeah. But it was really bad on this moment because it made Ari feel much worse against some matchups, which basically made them unwinnable because you didn't do enough damage and charm couldn't save you against them. And it was something skillet that could be different between bad and good Aris, so that was a really bad change. We also got the W nerf changes that till this day didn't get reverted and that's insanely bad because it was the reason Ari started to feel like doing no damage because W already did no damage back then but with this nerf it made Ari feel extremely bad and W feel extremely, extremely bad because the ability, ability was basically useless. Then we have some changes after the Season 8 reward, which was a really good reward to be honest. But the, the changes that came after were really bad. Because all Ari needed back then was some buffs to his to her damage. Because 
the kit was really balanced, the most balanced interaction we had in years. But Ari came with 49% win rate and Riot decided to buff the champ. Which was a good idea, in theory, because randomly they buffed the charm instead of buffing the W or any ability instead of the charm, which basic basically made her feel even more support because she did no damage but her champ was extremely OP with the extra duration. Patch after Ari's win rate spiked at around 54% win rate and instead of reverting again the change what they did was nerfing her ult CD and we all know how depend how Ari dependency on the ult is like without ult Ari is nothing especially back then because the move speed was on her passive so you actually needed to hit some abilities to get the move speed and it was even worse than the W move speed that we have today so yes it was really bad but her champ was extremely OP and then we have the season 10 reward which yeah what can I say this reward was extremely bad and not only because what was that base health regen nerf which made some matchups like Serat or Belkos extremely worse than they were than they already were until you had ult or just matchups that would drain you because it's basically 60 health every minute that you don't regen anymore because that was base stats so you did it for free but yeah it was not only that the rework did nothing, it was even an nerf as I call it back then. It was that Ari just felt like a cash wrap, like something that Riot could use release skins every once in a while, even two or more times on a year, and get some money, even if the champ were, was bad, which is so sad because there's a lot of people that really like this champ, like me. I really like the champ, it was one of the first champs that I actually made it and seeing it being this bad is sad, that's it, it's sad because Riot doesn't give, yeah, Riot doesn't care, Riot doesn't care about Ari being bad and this rewards uh, so was that they didn't care because how, how are they calling this a buff or a change where it did nothing to fix Ari's changes? But yeah, whatever, let's talk about what I will do to fix Ari's kit problems. Hopefully, something of these things end up happening on the future rework of this year. But yeah, as you can see, seeing the history of the patch, of the patches, you can see that there's not a lot of light on this because Riot, Riot is extremely bad at balancing Ari, I guess. So the main goal of the rework will be nerfing safety and buffing damage in my opinion that should be the goal of the rework we have a lot of things that Riot could do like nerfing movement speed, nerfing charm, etc but I guess there's also some quality of life changes that could help Ari to feel much better without even touching her damage for example Ari's charm should be giving vision of the target it hits will the charm last this way W can target and prioritize that target because right now if you charm and use W on an Akali, it doesn't matter because you don't see her and the W is going to go on the minions. This way you can help on this type of situations and I guess you hit the charm already so I guess you should be being able to hit them. I guess that's the way it should work. Then we have also the W targeting is sometimes weird. For example, if I'm farming a wave and cannon is about to die and I auto it the cannon I want all the balls to hit the cannon not not one ball going to hit the caster that is, that is dying right behind it because it should prioritize who you targeted first by the auto or at least it should it should prioritize the cannon over the casters already but that's too much I guess <laughs> but yeah then more about the charm charm out sometimes it's inconsistent because especially on champs like Oriana you charm them and if they cast Q they start to move in really weird I guess that should be look at charm in general 
And we have also that an interesting change could be basically increasing the range when you charm an enemy, similar to W, because right now it has way less range than it used to, and sometimes it just looks weird that it's not hitting the enemy even if you are really close, because the acquisition range is really low. So I guess that should be looked at, and that could be a good quality of life change. Then, the, Q, the passive is still bugged. If you cast W and Q at the same time, you are going to get the healing from both. That should be looked at because I guess a re win rate might be inflated by this, especially on mains, because a lot of mains know this and abuse this, even myself. Because if Riot didn't change it over the years, it's been already years since it was first reported, I guess it's an intended gameplay. So that should be looked at or at least stated on the tooltip if it's supposed to work like that. And there's not much more to say. I'm just going to leave my proposal changes. As always, I'm not a reorder or something, so don't expect this to zip. And you can always disagree with my changes. I guess it's interesting to think or try something different with Iris passive. I'm moving it from the current sustain from minions, which is not unhealthy, but boring in my opinion, because it's really weak in general, unless you hit a lot of enemies. So it ends up solely being good with Q. This way you can reward by choosing the correct ability to... Similar to Sona, I guess. You get a passive where you improve or give new effects to your abilities, depending on what you need or what you want to use in that moment. I guess it's more interesting. But as always, it's only my opinion and something I thought about these last days that could be interesting. You could disagree. So I hope you enjoyed the video and see you.